Hey everyone, it's Blakely with Cooking for Bimbos and I'm here today to show you a really special dinner. I'm going to make very easy but very delicious braised short ribs and I have, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So I have four pounds of short ribs. I let them come to room temperature and I also put them on a, a towel or paper towel because you want to get all that moisture out because we want them to get nice and brown. So we're just letting them sit just like this and I'm going to season all of them with a good amount of salt pepper and I like to do a little garlic powder just for an extra kick of flavor. So I have a very heavy Dutch oven over here heating up on high heat. I'm going to do these in batches because we want them to get brown. We don't, if you crowd too much meat in there, they're not going to brown properly. So we're just going to season everything on one side, just like this. Ooh, it's going to be so good and very special and elegant, but it looks like you put a lot of time into it and the only thing that takes a lot of time is just cooking. So once we put it all in the pot, we just let it cook for like two hours. All right, so into our pan here. So we're gonna put our seasoned side down, just like that, just a few in there at a time, like I said. I'm gonna work in batches to really brown them all, all the way around. Now that those are in there, also you wanna make sure you season the other side. So look at these. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Now I'm not trying to cook them. That's not the goal here. The goal is just to just do the edges like that to seal in all those juices. So I'm going to set this aside. So to this, I'm going to add two onions that I went ahead and diced up as well as about three small carrots. Cut these up just like this. And a nice saute. It smells amazing in here. This is a great dinner for any kind of holiday or special occasion. It just seems like it was a lot of effort that you put into it. Kind of trying to scrape up all those little bits at the bottom there. Just like that. Oh yeah. And also, I have about five cloves of garlic that I just gave a rough chop to. Not to be worried about your dice how small they are if they're perfect because they're going to cook down quite a bit. Add this right in here. Looks so good. I'm also going to do two tablespoons of tomato paste. And this is going to give it a really nice rich flavor and texture and color. Right in here, just like that. So what we want to do now is let this tomato paste kind of coat all of these vegetables. And tomato paste itself has a very kind of harsh flavor. So in French cooking, they call it pincé. You're going to pincé this. So what that means is you're going to cook it through just to get all that raw tomato paste paste out. You're going to let it cook here for a few minutes. Let's turn it around. So look at that. That tomato paste is cooked through perfectly. About five minutes. So now, I kind of want to deglaze the pan a little bit. There's still some extra little bits up there. So I just have just Cabernet, whatever you have. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a nice little mix right in there while that's bubbling up. Kind of use your spatula and just scrape the bottom. Get all of those out of there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so good. Perfect. So to that, we're gonna go ahead and add all of our short ribs right back in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the heat. Put these all in here, nestle them in there tightly. Just like this. Woo, this is gonna be so good. People are gonna freak out. Right in here, just like that. Get all that extra juice in there. Perfect, and then some beef broth. You put in here. And fill it about halfway up. Just like that. Perfect. And then I have some fresh rosemary I'm going to put in here. I have some fresh thyme I'm going to put in here. I love all these nice woody herbs. And that right in here. And then I have two bay leaves I'm going to put in here. And all of these things are going to 
give it a wonderful flavor. A little mix, make sure everything's in there. Perfect, so we're gonna add our lid on here. We're gonna put it in our oven, which is at preheated at 375. We're gonna let this cook for about two hours. It's gonna be so delicious. All right, so this has been in there for about two hours. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Oh, I have to just try a little bit. Oh, look at that. It is just falling. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. <laughs> and there you have my crazy, delicious brie short ribs. I hope you like it. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Mm.